hello guys happy sunday so today i am finally back with a different baby but this actually wasn't the baby i was planning on doing a video with but as i said sometimes my plans don't go as planned i tend to want to do videos with a baby that I actually feel that I want to do a video with and so sometimes my little schedule I have in my mind just doesn't work that way so to speak so I was not planning to do a video with Layla here but then you know I was holding her earlier today and I was holding like Yasmin and then I was holding Gabriel and I was holding, who else did I hold? Matthew. Um, so all of a sudden today I was just holding my silicone babies. I'm like in the mood for my silicone babies again. Since Gabriel came home, that, sh that sort of shifted and that happens to me at times. And so I was holding the silicone babies. So it kind of made me want to do a video with Layla so she ended up being the chosen baby of the day to do a video with to change and so that's how that went so my schedule did not work out um, I was planning on doing a video with one of my vinyl reborns and changing one of them but I wasn't in the mood for them today so that is basically how it goes with me. I can't sometimes just like do a video with a baby that I'm not really in the mood for that particular baby, if you get what I mean. It's like I like to interact with who I'm like wanting to interact with. So today it's my girl here. Look at them wrinkles. I don't know if you guys can see it. But this baby is just so, so wrinkly. Let's see if I can get her closer. You guys see them wrinkles? This little girl, she is just a little ball of soft, mushy wrinkles. <laughs> I love it. So that is why I was in the mood for her. Sometimes I just like, I have to have my Layla and that's who I'm in the mood for. Um, and she also has the squishy tummy, but as I was saying, hers feels completely different from Gabriel's. Their silicone feels different and their squishy tummy feels different, but I like both of them, but they're just absolutely like different. So I wanted to dress her in something for Sunday. I was just in the mood to kind of dress her girly and cute today. So she is going to wear something that I'm kind of pairing together. I don't know how it's going to look, but we're going to see. I, I took out these pink bow, um, pretty original bow tights. And so she's going to wear those. And then she's going to wear it with this little dress. I think this is a dress. This was This came with a baby. So I didn't actually buy this, but to me it looks like a dress, but then it looks like it could go with like some leggings or something, but I'm thinking it's just a dress and it's one of those kind of short dresses. It's not meant to be long. Um, it's definitely uh, not a, a, a United States brand. It's, it's not one of our brands. Um, it looks like it's maybe in Spanish or something. But it's a size three months and it just looks so cute and it buttons down the back. It's knit on the top and then the bottom is like cotton, I guess. And it has all of these pleats, rows of pleats going down the bottom. So it just looks cute. So that's what she's going to wear with her little tights and her shoes and a little headband. And that's what I wanted to put on her. Just something girly, but not too, too dressy. But at the same time, it's it's like something you would put on them for Sunday, I guess. And I'm going to just leave on her diaper that she's wearing. So first, we're going to get these tights on her. And look at the camera. Do you want to look at the camera today? 
she tends to move her neck how she wants. I can turn it this way. She will slowly turn it back that way, as you can tell. But anywho, she has a mind of her own, this little baby. So if you're new to my channel, this is Layla and she is from the Dwayne Denia edition by Claire Taylor Dolls. And she is Denia with a D. And that is the girls in the edition. And there was only three girls in the whole Dwayne Denia edition. Um... So she is rare due to that. There were only two in the Awake, a part of the Dwayne Denia edition, two girls. And then there was one extra baby made, a one of a kind Denia from the Sleeping Dwaynes. And her eyes are a little open and she's referred to as the Peaky Eyed Denia. So she has little peaky eyes. So she was the third girl out of the edition. So it's just three girls. And I love that I did get one of the girls. All the rest of them are boys. Um, there were five awake girls. I mean, five awake babies in the awake babies, a part of the edition. And then there was five sleeping babies. And then one peaky eyed baby. So that made a total of 11. And then there was the, um, the, I think there was one that was the prototype or artist proof. And he's a boy as well. Um, so not many babies were in this edition, which I like that also. It's a very small, small edition of babies, which is nice. And she is just amazing. I've had her a year now, a little over a year. And I just still adore her. No matter who comes in the nursery, who goes out of the nursery, she stays. She doesn't go anywhere. And I just love her. And this I'm repeating more so for new people. So I know you guys that have been following me heard all of this already. So I apologize for those who have heard it all before. <laughs> But I sometimes have to repeat stuff for new people that may just be passing by or they, you know, tuning in for the first time. And so that is what I'm doing today. Just wanted to come and dress this little girl here. And also I wanted to talk with you guys that have been following me. And let you know that since little Gabriel has come back home, and actually before he came back home, I started to view my collection differently. It made me take a whole new look at my collection um, of Reborn dolls and silicone dolls, who I have here and everything, how many dolls I have. And I tend to do that when I have dolls like coming in i guess which you guys that have been watching me for a while you know i go to through this stuff and so as i've said before i don't like a whole lot of dolls in my collection at one time um right now this is the most dolls i've had in a long time like all at once of vinyl reborns and silicone dolls um i have not had four full body silicone dolls before this is like a first time i think where i have four full body silicones um and that just kind of happened i wasn't planning that but once i brought gabriel back home that put my silicone collection up to four and i'm loving all of my silicone dolls um and always silicone for me is my first and foremost favorite choice of, of mediums as far as my dolls go. I love my silicone dolls and especially full body silicones. And then I love Claire Taylor's dolls. That is my favorite artist. So I am blessed right now to have four of her dolls full body in my collection. And I have two boys and two girls and I'm just loving that. 
And so I took a look at my collection, um, really started to look at it last week when Gabriel came home and it made me view things differently. All of a sudden, my feelings just shifted. Have you guys ever been through that in this hobby? Like one minute you're so into this and then the next minute you're into something completely different. Um, and it could be with your, the dolls that you have in your collection or it could be the, the clothing that you have for your dolls. All of a sudden you seem like you want to just change out things and change it around. I don't know why that happens to me, but it happens pretty often. I don't know when it's going to happen. It is just something that happens. I can't explain it. I don't get it, but it happens to me. <laughs> and, and it's like, I was not planning on letting go of any dolls right now. Honestly, I was not. All of a sudden, when Gabriel was coming, like, things just shifted for me. And I wanted that baby so bad. And I am just like all into him so much right now, all into the silicone dolls to the point that now I kind of put the vinyl reborns on the back burner again and feeling like, oh gosh, do I need all of them type of thing? <laughs> I don't understand it. And I love the vinyl reborns I have. I do. They are like all amazing as well. But I don't see where I'm going to have time for all of these babies. <laughs> I just don't see it. And I'm one of those hands-on collectors who like to interact with my dolls. I'm more, say, I'm a, a silicone reborn mommy more so than a silicone, silicone reborn collector. So I am one that loves the interaction with the dolls. I don't like my dolls just sitting, and I've always said that. Um, you can let them sit. They're dolls. They'll be fine. You know, as long as you keep them in a nice, warm, you know, well-tempered, dry place and have them dressed in something in a little blanket and they can just sit there until you feel like bothering with them again. Nothing will happen to them in most cases. They'll be fine. As long as you have them in a nice place in your house and they're safe. But for me, that's just not enough. I feel like I'm supposed to hold them. I feel like I'm supposed to change them regular. I feel like they just should not be sitting. I just don't like them just sitting. So that's why usually I don't try to collect too many at a time. And every now and then I'll try it out to see, okay, you know, do I want to have a large collection? And sometimes I'm loving the large collection. And then all of a sudden, like right now, I'm like wanting to more focus on my silicone dolls again. Not saying I'm going to get rid of all of my vinyl reborns, but I'm thinking I have too many. So, yes, <laughs> some of them might not stay. So, I'm just giving y'all a fair warning so you won't be shocked or surprised if you happen to see where I put one up for sale or two. Or possibly three. I don't know. I'm not sure at the moment how many, but I just wanted to kind of give y'all a heads up on it. And just explain before you start seeing the dolls go up for sale or actually one has already left the nursery. Yes, one has already left the nursery and is on the way to their new mommy since yesterday. I went out and shipped them out yesterday. I didn't even wait till Monday. I could have waited till Monday. But I was like in that mode. I'm like in selling mode again. And I hate when I get like this, but it just happens. It comes over me and I start cleaning house. Um, I'll bring the babies in sometimes and keep bringing them in, bringing them in. And then all of a sudden I'm like, nope, I don't want all of y'all. Somebody got to go. So <laughs> I can't explain it. It's just what I go through with my dog collecting. It's very like spontaneous. It's erratic. It, something will just come over me and that's how it go. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. My silicone dolls is like top priority right now. I'm all into them. I can't believe I have the four of them that I have and I'm loving the four of them. And it's just all about them right now for me. So I'm thinking, like I said, some of the vinyl reborns, I, I'm going to let them go. Um, I don't know for sure which others I have an idea. 
I will list them in the community posts. If you guys look at the community posts, I will put them there for sale, possibly on my Instagram as well. And I may probably still do a video too. I'll see. But like with the doll I let go of yesterday, the mommy had actually asked about that doll ahead of time. A couple of weeks ago, she asked me. And at that time, I had no intentions of selling that doll. It was the furthest thing from my mind. But she asked me and I told her, well, if I do decide eventually to let this baby go, I'll let you know. And boom, all of a sudden, I think it was Thursday or something like that. I decided to let that baby go. So that was the first one to go. When she gets her home, I will say which baby it is. I won't say yet. Um, but when she finally gets her home and everything, then I'll say which baby it is. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at. Um, I don't know what happened, but that's where I'm at. <laughs> it's, it's weird. But anywho, that is little Layla Pooh with her little dress and her tights and her little shoes and um she has on a lot of pink but when i looked at my tights i only had pink bow tights and i wanted her to wear the little bow tights and um i didn't have white bow tights because i really wanted white ones because being that she has on the pink shoes but unfortunately i remembered Last year when I was buying all of the tights and stuff, I never did get the white um, bow tights. They never would have the white. So I have to go back and look and see, do they have the white ones now? Um, because I don't have white ones. I have pink. I have gray. I have taupe, but no white. And I need white and even like off-white if I could find that. Those were the two colors I couldn't find. The off-white and the white with the little bow um, tights. But I have plenty of the bow tight um, socks, rather, in off-white and white and pink. Like, I racked up on those socks. When I finally got them and they had them, I bought all of the colors. <laughs> but I didn't ever find the white tight. So that's why she's wearing all this pink. But I kind of like her in pink, so I don't mind all of the pink today. She looks cute and girly right boo boo somebody a couple of people when i had her dressed up in that pumpkin suit for halloween they kept saying he <laughs> so when i looked at her she did look like a boy with her little pumpkin hat on in the pumpkin onesie she does look like a boy if you take away the pink and you take away the headband and the bows this baby's definitely look like a boy still um, and when I was getting her, I was concerned, would she look like a girl? Could she look like a girl? Now, if you dress her up like she is now in all this pink and the headband and all of that and the pretty dress, she looks like a girl. But if you take away all the pink and move that headband and put some blue on her or something, she look like a boy. But this baby is a portrait baby. She was created from a real baby boy, Dwayne. I assume his name is Dwayne. And he, he, he was a boy, <laughs> the real baby. And she looks just like him. And she looks like a boy, but I just love her, so I don't care. But, yeah, she do look like a boy still. Take them earrings and stuff out. She still look like Dwayne, right, boo-boo? Say, I'm still Dwayne, um, but I'm going to say she a girl. She my girl. She pretty to me, but a couple of people kept saying he. I didn't even correct them. I just let them call her, call her a boy. <laughs> but, yeah. Anywho, but she looks cute in, in her girly attire today. Maybe that's why I wanted to dress her up like a girl today, to make her look girly. And she just came out of something pink and white. But ever since I took her out of the little pumpkin suit, I've been putting pink on her. I guess I want to make sure she looks like a girl or something. But anyway, that is where I am. I was going to also discuss something else in this video, but I guess I'll save it for the next video I do because I didn't want to make this one too long. But there is little Layla, and that is our Sunday video, and I'll be back with someone else to change, possibly Matthew or Yasmin or Ebony, possibly Ebony because she needs to get changed too.
So anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And I know I'll get questions under this video about why am I selling my dolls, which I just explained why. And some of it I can't even explain myself. Um, <laughs> and I also kept getting the question um, under some of Gabriel's videos. So many people kept asking why are you buying him back again and again? Why, if you don't mind my asking, why are, Why do you keep selling him then? It's such a long story. And it's so like, you have to be in this hobby, I think, to understand it. So I'm thinking a lot of those questions came from people that's not in the doll hobby. But there are so many reasons why we buy the dolls and what draws us to the dolls and then what will make us all of a sudden sell a doll. And it could be a doll you really, really love and all of a sudden you decide to let it go. And then you let it go and you realize you want it back. So then you're buying it back and that type of thing. So that's what I pretty much you know, said to one of the people, I tried to explain it, but it's really difficult in this hobby. A lot of times to get a doll and really love it and keep it and hold on to it is so many other things that can come up and it makes you have to part with the doll you have. And I'll just leave it at that. I'll go more into it in another video. But anyway, thanks for watching guys.